Look what we've done. We walk up to a man. We say this. Do you know you're a sinner? And if he says yes, then we go on to the next question. Would you like to go to heaven? If he says yes, then we go on to the next question. Would you like to pray and ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart? If he says yes, and he prays that prayer, we ask him if he was sincere. If he says yes, we popishly declare him to be born again. That is not the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that methodology and evangelism has done more to hurt this country than every heresy introduced by every cult combined. Millions of people in this country whose lives have never been changed believe themselves born again because we have so reduced the gospel of Jesus Christ that it means now nothing more than a simple decision that will only take five minutes of your time. Now let's look at that for a moment. Do you know you're a sinner? If a person says yes, what does that mean? Absolutely nothing. Go ask the devil if he knows he's a sinner. He'll say, yes, I am, and a mighty fine one at that. The question is not do you know you're a sinner? The question is this, since you have sat under the preaching of the gospel, has God so worked in your heart that the sin you once loved you now hate? That's the question. The question is not, do you want to go to heaven? Everybody wants to go to heaven. They just don't want God to be there when they get there. The question is, as the gospel has been preached to you, has God, God Almighty, so done a sovereign, supernatural work in your heart that the God you once hated and ignored, you now desire and esteem worthy above all things? And then, would you like to pray a prayer and ask Jesus to come into your heart you will be hard-pressed to find a biblical basis for that question in the New Testament. You say, oh no, it says, receive Him. Do you honestly think when the Bible speaks about receiving Christ that it's talking about mumbling some little evangelical rite? When it talks about receiving Christ, it is through repentance and faith. It is not taking Him in as some accessory to your life. It is taking Him in as the very sustenance of your life. Christ isn't just something in your life that makes it better. Christ is your life. He is your life. Jesus did not come. It doesn't say in the book of Mark that the time was fulfilled. Jesus did not say that the time was fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Now, who would like to pray and ask me to come into their heart? But rather He said, repent and believe the gospel. And never forget, throughout all the teaching of the New Testament and the Old, repentance is evidenced by fruit by the way someone lives. Most people today believe they're saved because they're trusting in the sincerity of their decision and not the work of Christ nor the power of God in salvation. Are you saved? Yes. How do you know? Well, three years ago I prayed a prayer and asked Jesus to come into my heart. Really? And how many others have done that? The evidence of salvation the evidence of repentance, the evidence of faith is a changed and a changing life. How do you know that you repented unto salvation years ago? Because you continue to repent today. How do you know that you believed unto salvation years ago? Because you continue believing today. How do you know that God had an encounter with you years ago? Because He continues having an encounter with you. Through the work of sanctification, He has not only changed your life, He continues changing your life.